so before this video we have seen different patterns guys and you can just see different patterns you have just tried so pyramid inverted pyramid diamond pattern hollow square pattern then hollow triangle pattern and in this video we are going to try the hollow pyramid pattern which will look like this so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and share this video with your friends so we have seen different patterns and we have just seen what can be the logic what can be the approach to solve them using different tricks we have just seen and here also we are going to solve this pattern let's get started guys for today's video so here we are going to print hollow pyramid pattern so if you see inside this pattern looking like a pyramid which is just like a triangle and inside this there are some spaces not stars so this is called as hollow pyramid pattern at the left side you can see some spaces so how can we print the hollow pyramid pattern so the first step we are going to print here is the rows okay so to print the rows we need to know how many rows are there so totally you can just see this is first row this is second row this is third row this is fourth then we are getting five that means the fifth row so there are totally five rows so at this point we can say int n integer n equal to five because we are having here five rows so first thing to print the rows here i will just make to understand here there will be two here there will be three here there will be four here there will be five so there are totally five rows and we know the outer loop is going to be of rows so what we do here we are going to start from one because you can just see the row is starting from one so we say for integer i is equal to we are going to start from one and i should be less than rows and equal to also because we are starting from one if it was zero then we need to just say i should be less than root so we are going to say equal to root so what will happen it will be printing from one to five and here i am going to say i plus plus to say system dot out dot print and uh, here we are just going to move to the next line and print some star there will be five stars on each row and after entering here uh, i'm having an n variable i'm going to make it as a rows. okay now let's clear the screen and rerun the code so you will be able to see five stars on each line so you can just see there are totally five rows the second step is going to be printing the spaces so we are going to print the spaces which are present at the left so at this line you can see there are totally four spaces so i am going to just say spaces is equal to four on this line there are three dots that means three spaces so what i am going to say spaces is equal to three on this line spaces are going to be two so they are getting minus one at each row so it will be two and at this point you can just see there is totally only one space so we are going to say space is equal to one and here obviously there is no space so we will say space is equal to 0 now we are going to remove this star and we are going to print these spaces ok so I am just going to make a comment print spaces this is going to be your i value again apply a for loop inside this for loop we will take another variable which will be j is equal to we are going to name it as i we will say that j should be less than we will say j should be less than rows and we we'll say j plus plus so what will happen j is going to be your i value if i value is one then we will start printing from one that means one dot will be printed then two will get second dot then three will get third dot then fourth will get four dot and here we are saying less than so it will not take the fifth one dot so we will get the four dots at this point when the i value is going to be 2 then it will start from 2 so this 2 will be printed then it will be updated to 3 the 3 will be printed then it will update to 4 4 will be printed and then it will stop because fifth one is not going to be printed because we are saying j should be less than rows but before printing the space i will print the star so that it will be very clear for us that what it is trying to print so i am just going to say system dot out dot print not ln just print and here we are going to print this star okay and making clear the screen we are just going to check you will be able to see this task we need to take it to next line so i'm going to say here at this point system dot out dot print on the next line line now if i'm going to execute this we will be able to see the spaces so you will be able to see the spaces the four spaces will be printed here four star we are going to replace with spaces for understanding purpose we are making the star so this three here you can just see 
then 2 and then 1. So similarly you can see the output inside the terminal. Now printing the spaces we have done. Now you just need to replace this with the space and the spaces will be printed. Till now we have covered the rows and we have covered the spaces. Now we need to print the stars which are present at this point. At this line if you see we are just going to cover all this so it's around 3. Two stars and one space. At this line, if you see, there are two stars and three spaces. Fine. Here you can see two stars and how many spaces? Four, five, six, seven. So seven here. And here, if you see, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. So here we get a formula which is two into i minus one. Two into i minus one. When we use this formula, so it will be two into one. 2 into 1 which is going to be 2 minus 1 you will get 1. Here if you see 2 into here the i value is 2 that will be 4. 4 minus 1 you will get 3. It will be 2 into 3 which will be 6 minus 1 you will get 5. 2 into 4 you will get 4 to the 8. 8 minus 1 you will get 7. And here again 5 to the 10 you will get 10 minus 1 you will get 9 at this point. Here I am just going to come at this point and I will say 4. Here you can take the j variable as well. But you can't take the i variable. Here we are going to use a k variable. So we are going to say int k is equal to 1. And k should be less than less than equal to 2 into i minus 1. So it will be 2 into i minus 1. And we are going to update the k. Now here I am going to just print this star to make it more clear that what we are trying to do. So system dot out dot print. And here we are going to print this star. And if I'm going to execute this, we will be able to see the field pyramid without spaces in between. So you will be able to see this pyramid. On the left, there are spaces. Now, one thing which we need to do is we just need to add the spaces inside the pyramid. And we are not going to print the spaces which are at the right side because they are already, they are going to be there. Okay. We just need to print the spaces at the left, which we have done in the first step only. Now, we have just seen that how we can print all this pyramid. But now we are going to print the spaces. So I have just written here print stars and spaces in between. Now when the value of k is going to be equal to 1, then this star is going to be there. When the value of k is going to be equal to 1 on the next line, it will be at this point. That means this star. Then when the k value is equal to 1, you will get this star. When k value is equal to 1, this star. And k value is equal to 1, this star. So this stars at this point, the left side we can say of the pyramid, you will be able to see how going to be when k is equal to 1. So here we will have a condition at this point and I'm just going to say if the value of k is double equal to 1, we are going to use double equal to. Now here there will be one condition when to print this task. And if this condition is false, then we are going to print just the spaces. So I'm going to say system.out.print and when the condition is going to be false at the top, then we are going to just print the spaces over here. This was the first condition. We will be able to see just these stars which are present at the left side. So if I'm going to execute this, you will be able to see just the stars which are going to be at the left side. We need to print the stars which are going to be at the right side. So if you see 2 into i minus 1, at this line, if you see, it is going to be 2 into 1 minus 1, which will be just 1. So this is going to be the end as well. And this start as well. Then if I'm going to come at this point, if you see 2 into 2, it is going to be 4 minus 1, you will get 3. That means this is going to be of k is equal to 1, k is equal to 2, k is equal to 3. That means the k value when it is 3, we need to print the star. That means when it will be 2 into 2 minus 1. Similarly, for this line as well, 2 into 3 will get 6, minus 1 you will get 5. So 5 will be this star. From these conditions, we just understand that when the value of k is double equal to 2 into i minus 1, we need to print the star. So 2 into i minus 1. So if I'm going to execute this, you'll be able to see the stars at the left side and right side as well. The next thing we need to know and when the i value, when it comes to the rows, when it goes equal to 5, that means the end row, that means all of the row we need to print with the stars. So we are going to say when the value of i becomes equal to equal to rows, we need to print all the stars. So here you can just say when the i value becomes the third condition here inside the or you will say i double equal to i double equal to and we are just going to say rows so you will be able to see the line which is at the bottom at the end of the row so here you will be able to see the nine stars at this point and if i'm going to increase this size obviously it will be working for all the patterns as well and you will be able to see the stars for four as well make it two and let's execute it so you will be able to see it for two as well let's make it ten and let's execute this 
you will be able to see this pyramid for 10 pattern as well so we need to print hollow pyramid pattern so first step what we did is we have just printed the rows which are five so this line shows that we have just written the logic for the rows five rows from where it is going to start from row number one to the end of the row the next thing we did and we printed the spaces which are at this left side you can just see over here four then we get three then two and then one so this line is showing the spaces we have just printed okay this is the logic for printing that spaces the next thing the logic was about printing the stars the pyramid so we have just tell this much pyramid we are going to print and then we have just printed when the condition is meeting then we are going to print stars if the condition is not meeting then we are going to print the spaces at this point the spaces and the stars at this point for this we are having key is equal to one to print this line then the next condition we have written two into i minus one for this line and i is equal to equal to rows for this line. that's all about hollow pyramid pattern guys if you like this video then please do subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends thank you guys for watching this video